You guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Calves coming at you with yet another video. And I would highly suggest that if you are a viewer of mine that happens to have a family and you watch any of my videos with kids in the room, I would recommend they not be in here for this. But for parents out there, this is an incredibly important video for you to take a look at and for you to understand the problem that's going on in the world. Is it any wonder why it is that there are so many people leaving woke corporations in the dust? Is it any wonder why it is that over 4 million subscribers have left Disney Plus in their most recent Q2 earnings report? Is it any wonder why it is that major media corporations have lost billions of dollars when they're pushing this woke propaganda that is aimed at sexualizing the weakest and most vulnerable among us? Is it any wonder why it is that everyone who happens to be in a major media chain or a major chain of any business at all happens to have this absolutely disgusting desire to sexualize kids. Of course it's not a wonder. Parents don't want their kids being taken advantage of as is exemplified in the Florida Parental Rights and Education Bill and woke corporations want the ability to sexualize kids so they can have their way with them and get away with it without having to be prosecuted for crimes when they're actually brought up for criminal charges. Not to mention this liberal agenda that has been going on for years is hell-bent on destroying America from the inside out. And what better way than by slowly eroding away at the individual's understanding of what sexuality and sexual practices are to be. CVS Pharmacy has been caught placing child toys, children's toys, action figures, Barbie dolls, whatever you want to call it, next to adult sex toys and condoms. Sex toys including butt plugs and dildos. And if you take a look here at the marketing of this on this thumbnail here, you've got Magic Reveal Stickers Fun Pad from Disney, obviously aimed at little girls, and then a buzzy butt, something that doesn't really sound like a sex toy, but it is called a buzzy butt, a vibrating toy for backside play. This is disgusting. And if you want more evidence of this, check out what happened regarding Graham Allen's viewing of this. Graham Allen posted a, a video not too long ago on his Instagram. I saw it this morning, actually, talking about the fact that there are magnum condoms and other types of condoms for fully grown men next to children's toys. These people are disgusting. These people are horrendous and evil. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to play this video. It's 47 seconds long. I do apologize, but I need to show you guys this because it's horrendous what's happening. Yet another disgusting display from another woke corporation, CVS. You are disgusting. Why in the world would you A, Glad sell these you. items? You've got dildos, vibrating toys, uh, condoms, other sorts of sexual proclivity activity toys for adults next to children's toys. B, if you're going to sell them, of all the locations in the store that you could have placed them, you choose to... And you see here, there's probably some Hot Wheels, there's some Barbie dolls, there's some action figures, maybe some Halo, maybe some DC comics, maybe some Marvel Comics heroes in there. These are children's toys. These are toys meant for kids who haven't even developed the concept of right and wrong fully, and they just rely on superheroes to tell them that. And you're putting it right next to freaking sex toys. Place them right next to children's toys. No one in the store that was stocking the shelves, no manager, looked at this and said, man, this seems inappropriate. Maybe we should put them, I don't know, on one of the other 30 aisles. Disgusting. Should be ashamed of yourself, CVS. I 100% agree with this guy, and I'm not going to play the rest of the video because you, you've already seen the gist of it. You already get why this is such a big deal. 
And what can you do about this? You can vote with your dollar. You can do the thing that capitalism gives you the power to do, and you can vote with your dollar and make sure that the businesses and corporations that actually advocate for this garbage go out of business. That's why Disney has lost billions of dollars in recent history. That's why they've lost millions of subscribers, 7.8 million subscribers in two consecutive quarters at their earnings report. They have lost so much, and it is good, and it needs to keep happening because we need to send these major media corporations a message that they can't just get away with sexualizing and molesting children and be okay. No more of this garbage. No more of these corporations taking advantage of the youngest and most innocent among us. No more. I hope you guys found this video educational. I don't think it's entertaining. I would never claim it to be entertaining. But if you guys enjoyed learning about what's going on, if you guys think this is of value, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you can stay updated. And make sure to check me out on my different socials because I have links to those in the description below. One of which is to support me on Patreon. One of which is just so, just to give me a you know a little bit of a follower boost on Rumble because I'd rather view, rather be on Rumble than on YouTube. Nevertheless, I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of the week.